hatred. I was born in hatred, in war, by force, through pain, abandoned as a wretch, a dead mother, a cuckold father, taken in by the bliss of Sigmar. I devoted my life to goodness, to purity, to cleanse my foul genes and origin from my flesh, to study and rigor. But it was not to be. I begged you, Sigmar. I begged you, and you abandoned me. But now, I am free of their great game. I have no machinations of power. I exist for a single purpose, which they will now aid me in. To burn this world to ash, so that pain and feelings of sympathy are nothing but memory floating in an endless void. And I will bring my wrath upon them. Bieber Kilistor, the dread book of divination, penned by Necrodomo the Insane, prophesies that the North and South would meet in the Everchosen's blood. And so it was that Archaon, the greatest of all champions of chaos, was born. Archaon was not always known by that name. He was once Diedrich Kastner, a highly devout and zealous Templar of the twin tailed Comet, born a few scant years after Magnus the Pious and the first great war against Chaos. Diedrich was an Imperial from Nordland, but his father was a possessed champion from the Vog tribes who violated an innocent woman during an Imperial raid that destroyed Diedrich's birth village of Hagendorf. After his mother's death and his stepfather's disdain for his bastard status, Dietrich was adopted by a local Sigmarite priest and became a Knight Templar of the Order of the Twin-Tailed Orb. He fought valiantly and devoutly in service to the God King Sigmar, until his true lineage and fate were unveiled. Overwhelmed with despair, Dietrich sought salvation by traveling great distances to the heart of his faith. He knelt before the colossal holy temple of Sigmar in Altdorf, beseeching the golden statue of Sigmar for aid against the darkness that threatened to engulf him. But the statue remained silent, and Dietrich realized the futility of his plea. He renounced the gods of the south, but harbored a deep hatred still for the gods of his father. Accepting his true destiny as a means to repay the fates for the wrongs inflicted upon him, Diedrich became Archaon, the Ever-Chosen, the Three-Eyed King. His exploits were legendary, and his armies vast. Countless foes of unwavering courage lay slain in his destructive wake. Nevertheless, Archaon harbored a profound resentment towards the Chaos Gods and the suffering they had brought upon him. In the end, Archaon faced the very god of his people that he had once called Lord and of all mankind, and so he stood ready to fulfill his destiny. And so he stood ready to fulfill his destiny and usher in the end of all things. <laughs>